but I cannot hear you. Oh, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, I think uh, Sir Bantendu is waiting for you, but I think maybe he doesn't have internet connection right now. So okay, okay, okay. I, I think he will join as as soon as I like. Okay. When then. He, the internet come back and or maybe the power supply something some problem might be there. Okay. Oh, anyway. Okay. So. So how to share the screen? No. Yes. So good, good afternoon, everybody. Mm -hmm. Our respected okay. uh, chairperson of HRDC, Mizoram University, and also I can see Dr. What is name? Uh, what is the name? Lal. Pana, yeah. Pana, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And other esteemed members and our learned participants. That way, you all are my colleagues. I am also one of you like you. Okay, even though I am in Sikkim University. No, sir. Uh, I am also. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. So, okay, sir. So, you are traveling, I think. You must be tired. Uh, no, it's okay, sir. Uh, today, suddenly, we had one meeting, an inspection committee meeting to an affiliated college. And as it was mandatory, so I had to go, but I came back. I okay, okay, okay. Finished it quickly. Anyway, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak also. And thanks for uh, accepting the our offer, sir. That is more important. Uh, oh, it's nice, sir. Uh, Great, good, sir. So you have already interacted with uh, Dr. Fanai. She is my colleague. And Dr. Okay. Guram is also here. Actually, I got power cut just after calling to you. Power cut was there. Okay. So I got disconnected. So I requested uh, them to start. But uh, power came okay, back. So In Sikkim also, we have also many issues. Last night, there was a heavy run rainfall. Throughout oh, the night, okay. it rained heavily. Okay. And then also... Uh, but right now it's okay. The weather is okay. It's quite sunny behind you, sir. Uh, <laughs> weather must be good. <laughs> now weather is good. I was thinking what will happen to the road condition oh, okay. because I had to go outside out of Gangtok City. Okay. But okay. I could come. Luckily, everything was okay. And also, it's very nice that you are organizing this refresher course for the benefit of. Uh, teachers. The teachers all over India. So that way, but uh, our teachers are, were also interested. We could not know. Otherwise, <laughs> some of our university yeah, yes. teachers and also college teachers could have joined. Could so, have joined. Yeah, yeah. You were telling me, sir. It's, uh, it's okay. Uh, uh, so, uh, so participants, uh, our uh, resource person for today, this session is uh, Professor Sudhanshu Sekhar Mahapatra, sir. He is presently Dean School of Professional Studies in uh, Sikkim University. And earlier, formerly, he was Head Department of Commerce. His specialization is Accounting, Finance, and Taxation. And the topic he has taken today is uh, Minimum Requirements for Presentation of General Purpose Financial Statement. Uh, sir, uh, time is yours, so you may start now, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and, sir, one more thing. Uh, the, the participants are not having access to audio. Uh, means they cannot speak. So they will be okay, typing okay. the message in the chat box. So okay. later on, we'll be interacting over that. Okay, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Definitely, sir. So let me share the screen. Uh, can you see it, sir? Is it visible? Uh, it is coming, yes, sir. Yes, first slide is coming. Go to full screen mode. Slideshow. Uh, full full screen. Uh, I mean slideshow, slideshow. Okay, okay. Just one minute. Uh, slides. Well, control 5 will do, sir, I think. Control 5? Control F5. F5. Control F5. You are screen sharing. This is this. Not working. Then when you put right mm -hmm. side bottom corner cup uh, symbol is there, sir. That sixty eight percent below. Is there, no, just below, uh, below, right below, 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 sir. 
Where? Just before percentage. Uh, below, yes. below, sir, scroll bar. Near scroll bar. Below scroll okay, bar. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, Just sorry. before. Just before. Not after, sir. Before. Before. Sir, no, not that one, sir. You are plus. Not, no, no, not that, sir. Before 68%. Uh, yeah, cup, cup just before that. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. This one. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. So, dear participants, uh, of course, I could not see you all in person. I would have loved to see you. So I have, uh, I could know that you all are from different backgrounds, like this thing, economics, uh, commerce, and also management, maybe other subjects. So I have chosen a easier type of topic, but it is very, very meaningful. Okay. So the topic is, this is the minimum requirements for presentation of general purpose financial statements. Okay. Sir, your PPT is not yet full screen, sir. PPT is not full screen? Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was not properly clicked. Same same icon, sir. But I can see. Okay, but here it is only first slide showing with the... Uh, it's only full screen. Anyway, sir, you may start. Actually, I we are more conversant with that Google Meet. Okay, 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 sir. Uh, so, let me see also. New share, stop, more. The same icon, sir, that uh, near scroll bar below. But okay, that, okay. Please. That is not coming, no, that icon. Uh, but that might not have properly clicked, sir. Try once again. I think it should work. Sir, uh, there is a option in the left top corner. Resume slideshow. Resume. I, resume slideshow. Yes. But I I cannot see this thing. The, those options are not coming. Okay. Okay. Uh, we just increase the percentage and start over it. Yeah, yes, sir. Just increase the percentage of uh, zooming. Yeah, yes, yes. But I don't know why. How to go back? To uh, maybe, sir. You stop and then re rejoin. Yes. Stop share and reshare. Re stop video? No, stop. Uh, stop, stop share. Stop share. New share. Pod share. And all. More. Stop screen sharing and then share again. Disable the hide video share. Optimize making leave. Oh, sir, you control, start. control F5 will do again. Uh, try, sir, once try F5. No, sir. I, I think, sir, one, one dialog box is open because of that it is not working. Uh, stop share. Slides. Stop uh, share, yes. Yeah. Stop share and then share again. Yes. Sir. No. Now share again. Yes. Screen share. So I'll zoom it. Uh, not zoom, sir. Before that, zoom percentage. Icon. Okay. Yes, 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 okay. yes. Click on this. Single click. Okay, again the same thing. Slide show, resume slide show is coming. Uh, resume slide slide show. Yes, 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 yes. Now I think. Is it visible now? <clears throat> uh, it's still same thing, sir. It's not changing. Anyway, you continue, sir. It's still on the uh, small okay. screen only. Anyway, it's visible, sir. You can continue. Okay, okay, then. So the topic is minimum requirements for presentation of general purpose financial statements. Okay. Why I have chosen general purpose financial statements? Because this is mandatory. This is uh, generally used by the general type of companies. General type of companies. And the requirements for presentation of general requirements, minimum requirement means in the you must have seen the annual report in the annual report. Now, what minimum things should be there? What 
minimum things should be reported in the annual report so that is my objective and the my objective also is <clears throat> whatever i have prepared i have prepared in line with in as in as <clears throat> so one of the objectives of reporting is faithful representation of transactions okay the faithful what is this thing faithful representation so the, the transaction should not be a colored one the transaction sh should not be a colorable uh, the there should not be colorable representation of the transactions whatever really has happened so that should be represented in the annual statement of accounts also the objective of financial reporting is to present a true and fair view of the financial position financial performance and cash flow of an entity see this thing this word is very crucial the objective is to present a true and fair view true and fair view means it is not the only the uh, most appropriate presentation of financial position it is not the best one it is not the absolute one it is one of the best okay so the objective is to present a true and fair view means uh, that's why the word the is not written to present the true and fair view it is written the to present a true and fair view means many options are there many combinations are there so the best thing is whatever is justified whatever is fair so that should be presented okay so this is called the faithful representation of the transactions and the presentation of true and fair view requires the faithful representation of the effect of transaction what is the effect of transaction also other events and conditions other conditions in accordance with the definition and recognition criteria in accordance with sir uh, sir your slides are not moving still uh, first slide no, no. we are visible still on first we are it not moving no no still we are using uh, seeing the first one only the top uh, the, the title right click yes. click on the second sir click on the second one i think movement is a problem somewhere click on slide 2 on the side bar scroll bar score bar is uh, that is not there no no no, no the, the, where that is this slide okay you are not seeing that thing no sir here ah, it is i am not able to see okay okay uh, so some other screen is uh, now new share pod share so one common options you are seeing new share i think new share i think will do you are sharing now stop share participant change new share okay. new share no new share that will not do i think or uh, use sir this arrow key down arrow key is working arrow key in your keyboard sir keyboard arrow key that a note uh, yeah a note or the yeah, next page next or uh, page down that also is not moving sir a note is there what is this thing a note select text draw stamp spotlight clear save no sir not that one stop video then should i share in a small screen without doing this thing try that one sir ha huh? try that one sir we will see ha uh, just again i have to stop share
Now is it visible? Yes, sir. It is. It this is one. This one. This one. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. It's moving also. Okay. Okay. Faithful representation of transactions. Ah, uh, faithful representation of transactions. Trans so the what is economic event needs to be faithfully represented. Okay, where to represent? You have to report in a statement. So our objective is what what things should be reported in which statements. So when you prepare this thing, annual statement of accounts, then what happens? The applicability of IND AS is a, uh, you have to check whether it is, uh, whether IND AS, IND AS means Indian, virtually Indian accounting standard. I cannot say Indian accounting standard, but it is roughly, it is the meaning is same, IND AS is applicable. So when it is applicable, it is applicable if any commercial event, if any commercial transaction is there, if any economic event takes place, then what happened in AS is applicable. So even if in a small portion commercial transaction is there, in that situation, in AS will be in AS will be applicable to the entire organization. For example, in the college, now the question comes whether in the college uh, in AS is applicable or not. In the college or university accounts, in AS is applicable or it is not applicable. Now what happens if the college is charging or the university is charging tuition fee or taking money for bus services, hospital services, then there is some activity is commercial in nature. So in that situation, definitely in AS is, should be made applicable to university accounts, should be college accounts. But right now we are not following. So that is a separate issue, but logically what happened as per the Ministry of Corporate Affairs notification, in AS should be made applicable. So what is the benefit of INDES? INDES means there will be a harmonization of accounts. There will be a harmonization of accounting. Let me give you one example. Uh, this thing, when you want to, you have a company and you want to enlist your company in New York Stock Exchange. One of the conditions was that the New York stock, the accounts are to be translated under American FASB standards, Financial Accounting Standard Board standards. Now what happened in Germany, one company is there, Mercedes-Benz car company is there. So they wanted to be enlisted under New York Stock Exchange. So that company was earning a huge profit under their accounting standard. But when it was translated under FASB, then there was a huge loss. Okay, so that was the genesis. So for harmonization of accounts at a global level. In India, what happened earlier, we had accounting standard, only, only accounting standard. We had our own sovereignty. But at the global level, international accounting standards were there. So the nomenclature has been changed. Now the nomenclature has been changed. It has been made IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards. And we are tuned to IFRS. We are as far as close to IFRS, but since India is a very big country and we have our own accounting sovereignty, we say that we should have our own accounts. That's why we are preparing in days which is very close to IFRS. So the idea is that INDAS is applicable to almost all organizations, even if in a 
religious organization if it give the sell prasad or sweet and they earn money they take some money then definitely in as should be made applicable so that way in virtually all circumstances presentation of a true and fair view is achieved by compliance with applicable in days because this in days is a set of rules and if you follow rules then what happens uh, it becomes easier the uh, there can be harmonization of accounts you all are in colleges and some of you are in universities now you see the mark sheet of students then also we find a lot of variations are there even the college teachers cannot understand what is mentioned so different colleges have different formats of mark sheets so there also here also in the university system also it needs harmonization okay how this true and fair view can be achieved now to select and apply appropriate accounting policies the accountant is given many options okay many three four five options are there you must select the appropriate accounting policy and also to present information including accounting policies in a manner that provides relevant reliable comparable understandable information so these are also the qualities of a very good financial system particularly this thing relevant reliable comparable understandable understandability of the financial statements also the true and fair view requires that you have to provide additional disclosures when compliance with specific requirements if in as is insufficient sometimes what happened in as may be insufficient it is not the conclusive uh, the uh, the best thing okay it may become it is in a developing stage so the in as is sometimes insufficient so if it is insufficient and we are not able to understand it properly in that situation what happen you must provide additional disclosures for example sustainability reporting sustainable accounting there is a need for one accounting standard on sustainability reporting sustainability issues so till the accounting standard comes so you can the companies are providing additional disclosures <coughs> then we'll see the frequency of reporting okay what is this thing the frequency of reporting we know that the annual reports should be prepared at least once in a year okay at least so the financial state we have we should prepare the financial statements at least annually and when the entity changes the end of its reporting period and presents financial statement for a period longer or shorter than one year an entity shall disclose in addition to the period covered by the financial statements the reason for using a longer or shorter period and the fact that amounts presented in the financial statements are not comparable see this thing <coughs> this frequency of reporting the frequency of reporting should be ideally one year but you are allowed to use a longer period or also for a shorter period so if you use this thing a longer period of reporting then that has to be mentioned some here it has to be mentioned that the longer what is the reason for adopting a longer period and or also you have to expressly say that Uh, the figures are not comparable when you when you prepare for uh, let's suppose 13 months in one year account for 13 months then this 13 month is not comparable with the account of 12 months okay so this comparison is not possible so expressly you have to say that it is not comparable then also another is equal prominence what is equal prominence when you prepare any annual report 
you have to give equal prominence to all the financial statements. Okay, there should be equal prominence to all financial statements. How it is possible, you should not highlight. For example, don't highlight the balance sheet. If you are highlighting balance sheet, you must highlight profit and loss statement, uh, statement of changes in equity, cash flow, or the equal prominence should be given. One statement should not be given more prominence. It may create confusion. So what are the minimum requirements? What are the, uh, under the law, what things are required to be uh, reported? Number one is the balance sheet. So these six are the minimum requirements. Number one is balance sheet, and you have to prepare the balance sheet at the end of the period. Okay, so it is written balance sheet as at on a particular date. Then number two is statement of profit and loss for the period. Earlier it was called profit and loss account. Now it is called statement of profit and loss. And in USA, it is called comprehensive income statement. And also this income statement of profit and loss is for the period. And the period is usually one year. <clears throat> then number three is the statement of changes in equity. This also a statement of change in how the equity has been changed. The moment that how the equity at the in the beginning, what was there at the end, what is the amount of the uh, equity. So that has to be reported in a statement. So that statement is statement of changes in equity for the period. Similarly, <clears throat> statement of cash flows. Now, there is a need to know what amount you are generating. And also, if you have to spend, uh, what should be the outflow of the case? And what should be the inflow of the case? Outflow and inflow of the case needs to be reported. Okay, so that needs to be reported <clears throat> in one statement. That statement <coughs> is called the statement of gas flow. <coughs> Earlier, it was not compulsory, but nowadays it has been made mandatory. Earlier, earlier the, it was it was optional, but most of the companies they used to. <clears throat> they used to report to this thing, they used to prepare the statement of cash flows. Then also one part of the financial statement is notes comprising a summary of significant accounting policies. Okay, notes and other explanatory information, comparative information in respect of the preceding period. So <clears throat> notes also is a part of financial statement minimum requirement of financial statement. So in notes, what things are to be mentioned? You are comprising a summary of the significant accounting policies. What are the accounting policies you have adopted? For example, which depreciation method you have adopted? Under the rule, you can adopt two methods. For example, straight line method, then written down value method, in case of some companies, optimized depreciation method also is allowed. So which method you, are, you have adopted, that also needs to be mentioned in the notes. Also, <clears throat> the balance sheet at the beginning of the preceding period, when an entity applies an accounting policy retrospectively or makes a retrospective restatement of items, in its financial statement, or when it reclassifies items in its financial statement in accordance with the paragraphs under int AS. Here, what does it mean? So when you say that there was an error, or there should have been, or there is a change in the policy, then there is a need for retrospective restatement of accounts, retrospective restatement of balance sheet, retrospective restatement of uh, statement of profit and loss, statement of changes in equity. So those are uh, those items are also need to be mentioned. So in the balance sheet, so 
commerce students uh, commerce teachers they know very well they must be teaching but it is basically for others so in the balance sheet what items have to be there property plant and equipment okay property for example land building plant plant means any machinery which is attached to earth which cannot be easily shifted so that is called plant equipment means machinery which can be easily which can be shifted okay similarly the investment properties if you invest shares or if you buy some building land for investment purpose so that also should be reported in the balance sheet intangible assets intangible asset means which you cannot touch it okay intangible means which is not which you one cannot touch for example patent copyright goodwill so these are intangible assets okay financial assets financial assets means debentures shares so those are also to be mentioned in the balance sheet then investment any other investment biological asset here biological asset means biological asset as per under the scope of agriculture okay in one uh, in days on agriculture is there if that comes under agriculture then that is a biological asset and that asset also needs to be separately disclosed in the balance sheet then also your inventories means stock trade and other receivables cash and cash equivalent cash equivalent means as good as cash cash and cash equivalent for example in india we have cash and also the bank and marketable securities marketable securities means readily you can sell it readily it can be converted to cash so that is cash equivalent cash and cash equivalent under us what happened under us gap so the cash the meaning is slightly different cash cash in hand cash at bank uh, that also cash in this thing uh, one box is there what is that called you know many two three keys are there so that way also that is uh, that that uh, that separation also is there because if two persons come the keys will be with different persons one will be with manager another with, with the accountant so the both should come then only they can collect cash so that way that separation is there but under indian gap that separation is not there cash means normally we write cash in hand and also cash at bank and also we write cash equivalent normally refers to the marketable securities the total of assets classified as held for sale okay so in the balance sheet here also some classification should be there the assets held for sale also the asset held till maturity so that way also that needs to be defined then trade and other payables provision if you have created some provision provision to meet some liabilities then that also needs to be reflected in the balance sheet provision financial liabilities liabilities and assets for current tax the present tax you have not paid tax but you will pay tax deferred tax liability deferred tax assets non controlling interest for example in a company what happened some are owners and some are not owners the minority share so the minority share also needs to be reflected those who are teaching this thing holding company accounts the minority share is very important aspect of holding company accounts a consolidated balance sheet so issued capital reserves okay so normally these are the items which need to be disclosed in the balance sheet now what happens the balance sheet you can follow any one method the uh, it can be uh, the items of the balance sheet may be presented in accordance with the nature and liquidity of assets if it is most liquid you can write on the top you can go down okay to the 
lowest liquidity, lowest liquid asset, or in a reverse way also, fixed asset you can buy it, which is less liquid, and lastly you can buy it cash, which is the most liquid asset. Or you can also write, you are free to write the functions of asset within the entity. Okay, as per the function, as per the usefulness of the asset to the company or to the organization. So in that order also one can write in the balance sheet. Or the amount, nature and timing of liability. If it is higher amount or lower amount, you write on the top. So that way, you can come down, okay, as per the nature, as per the timing of liability, the, uh, if the liability, the time is for a longer period, you can write first, and the shorter period, you write last. So that way, one can write uh, the items in the balance sheet. So these items, these items should be disclosed either in the balance sheet or in the statement of profit or loss or statement of changes in equity or in the notes. Somewhere it should be mentioned. The idea is that somewhere these items need to be mentioned. For example, the share capital. For each class of share capital, somewhere you have to write the number of shares authorized. The, what is the authorized share capital? Then also what is the issued share capital, subscribed share capital, paid off share capital? Okay, what is the par value of share capital? So the reconciliation of the number of shares outstanding at the beginning and at the end of the period the right shares, preference shares, if any restriction attaching to any class of share is there, that also needs to be mentioned. So these things are to be mentioned, either down the balance sheet you can write, or in the statement of changes in equity, or in the notes. Somewhere it must be mentioned. For example, this thing, the number of shares authorized or authorized share capital. In some balance sheet, we see that in the balance sheet itself, it is written. What is in the, uh, in the left and top, it is written. What is the authorized share capital? Authorized share capital means what is the, that is the maximum share capital that a company can raise. And it is mentioned in the memorandum of association. That is the highest amount of capital that a company can issue to the public. So that is authorized capital. Right now you do not require that amount of money. So it is not necessary to issue the total capital. You can issue the capital in many steps, in many parts. Okay, whatever part you have issued, if you have issued means you have sold to the public, then that also must be mentioned. And what is the par value per share? Par value means nominal value per share. If there is no nominal value, then also you have to give information that there is no nominal value. Similarly, in the statement of profit and loss, earlier it was called profit and loss account. Now they say that it is a statement of profit and loss. So here, this profit and loss, uh, of two parts. One is profit or loss part, the other one is other comprehensive income part, okay? So what is the comprehensive income for the period? Is the total of profit and loss also total plus other comprehensive income. It means in the statement of profit and loss, there are two parts. One part is the comprehensive income, income part, the other is the other comprehensive income part. In India, the comprehensive income is called the profit or loss, the simple profit or loss. If the profit arises from the regular business, then that is a profit. And in other comprehensive income, if there is a profit, suppose you have a earring. Now what happens? You purchase the earring by paying, let's suppose 50,000 rupees, okay? 
five years back you purchased the earring by paying 50000 rupees now the value of gold has been increased now the value of earring is 1 lakh rupees but you purchased at 50000 rupees okay now what happened that 50000 rupees profit comes under other comprehensive income okay that has to be that also can be reported that is called that has to be in case you write that thing then that has to be mentioned in under the heading other comprehensive income an entity shall present the following items in addition to the profit or loss and other comprehensive income section as allocation of profit or loss or other comprehensive income for the period a profit or loss for the period attributable to controlling interest and also the owners of the uh, sorry non controlling interest so what is the profit attributable to the minority interest what is the profit attributable to the owners or the equity shareholders so that also needs to be mentioned okay as i told you other comprehensive income comprises of items of income and expenses that are not recognized in profit or loss so under the gap those items if any profit as i gave you one example of this thing the increase in the value of earring so that is a profit so that profit is not recognized in our indian gap So, but that can be mentioned in other comprehensive income. Okay, so that is a part of other comprehensive income. So, what are the items of other comprehensive income? So, these items include changes in the revaluation surplus. Okay, <clears throat> suppose you have some uh, this thing uh, a machinery. Now you have gone for revaluation. now what happened and as a result of the revaluation you earn some profit so that profit is coming under other comprehensive income similarly remeasurement of defined benefit plan okay earlier the you have pension pension plan is a defined benefit plan now what happened you have gone for remeasurement or reevaluation and as a result you earn some profit then that profit will come under other comprehensive income similarly gains and losses arising from translating the financial statements of a foreign operation gains and losses arising from translating because of the every day the foreign exchange rate is changing so because of the change in the foreign exchange rate if you earn some profit or if you suffer from loss then that has to be reported in other comprehensive income statement in a similar fashion gains and losses from investment in equity instrument gains and losses on financial assets measured at fair value okay the effective portion of gains and losses on hedging instrument and also for particular liabilities designated as at fair value through profit or loss the amount of the change in fair value that is attributable to changes in the liabilities credit risk so here what happens the idea is that the uh, if there is a change in the fair value okay fair value is like the market value so if the market value in the nearest market if there is a change in the fair value and you earn profit or you suffer loss that has to be reported in other comprehensive income statement okay so this statement of changes in equity it has two parts one part is total comprehensive income for the period sorry the statement of changes in equity includes the following so uh, the following information number one in the change in the statement of changes in the equity 
the total comprehensive income for the period, okay, showing separately the total amounts attributable to owners of the parent and also to non-controlling interest. And for each component of equity, the effect of retrospective application or retrospective restatement recognized as per rule. So here what happened, these two information need to be mentioned in the statement of changes in equity. Equity means equity in the beginning and equity at the end. Okay, and also why there is a change that also that needs to be reported. Then cash flow, I am extremely sorry, the upper portion, I'm not able to show this thing. So the cash flow, cash flow statement also needs to be prepared. And the, what is the objective of cash flow? Sometimes at the in the during the middle of the year, you may purchase a machinery for that, whether you have ability to generate cash, whether you have the ability to pay cash. So that needs to be known. So this cash flow statement, the objective of cash flow statement is to give information on the generation, the inflow, as well as the outflow of cash. Okay. There can be inflow outflow of cash under three headings. One is from operating activities, cash flow from operating activities. Number two is cash flow from investing activities. And number three is cash flow from financing activities. Okay. Operating activities cash flow from operating activities. Operating activity means your regular activity. Whatever is the cash flow from your regular activity, so that is cash flow from operating activities. For example, uh, in case of financial, uh, this thing, uh, uh, cash flow from operating activities. Uh, then investing activities, if you invest money, invest in shares, invest in this thing, land, building, etc. So there is there will be outflow of cash. Also inflow of cash also will be there. So that is coming under in the cash flow from investing activities. Financing activity means there will be cash flow when you go for issue of shares, issue of debentures. When you issue share, then what happened? You will get some money. There is inflow of cash. So that inflow of cash will be reported under cash flow from uh, financing activities. Okay, if you go for redemption of preference shares, then money will go out. Outflow of cash will be there. So that outflow of cash needs to be reported under the heading cash flow from financing activities. So there are three major activities uh, or the cash flow under three headings are to be mentioned. One is cash flow from operating activities, cash flow from financing activities, cash flow from investing activities. These operating activity, financing activity, in case of financial institutions, the financing activity becomes the operating activity. Then another is notes. Notes also is a part of financial statement, okay? Notes contain information in addition to that presented in the balance sheet, a statement of profit and loss. So in addition to all the statements, you have to write a note. So these notes provide a narrative description of the items presented in those statements, okay? So the, some narrative items are to be mentioned uh, in one paragraph and that particular paragraph also is a part of the financial statement. Disclosure, these things are normally disclosed in the notes. The amount of dividend proposed or declared before the financial statements were approved for issue but not recognized as a distribution to owners during the period and the related amount per share. And the amount of any cumulative preference dividend not recognized. Recognized means when the 
equity the shareholders the the shareholders they give accent then it is recognized so when it is not recognized for example you have not conducted the annual meeting now what happen then uh, but the directors they declare dividend so that proposed dividend needs to be mentioned in the notes now this is also important all the companies companies annual report shall make an explicit and unreserved statement of compliance of accounting standard in the notes in the notes they have to write that they have followed in as clearly an entity shall not describe financial statements as complying with ind as unless they comply with all the requirements of ind as if you partially follow ind as then you cannot you should not make the above statement you should not make a statement that you are following ind as okay so there should be a unqualified statement on reserved statement means unconditional statement that you have followed you have complied in the as in the in preparation of the accounts and for your information here in the as is made applicable to all the companies from the year there is a road map from the year 2016 onwards it has been made applicable but only in case of banks in case of insurance companies it is yet to be made applicable so the banks and the insurance companies they have raised many objections and they say that right now they are not ready for that purpose this indas is not applicable <coughs> to banks and insurance companies <coughs> then financial review <clears throat> so even though it is not compulsory in the annual report we find financial reviews okay so many entities many organizations present outside the financial statement a financial review by management that describes and explains the main features of the entity financial performance and financial position and the principal uncertainties it faces <clears throat> if you see the annual report of reliance industries limited infosys technology limited then you find financial reviews okay <clears throat> what are the challenges uh, and the unique points of the financial performance the financial position etc one financial review also <clears throat> let me take one minute break no i'll just come within one minute uh, sure sir sure sir sure sir. okay I'll yeah sure sir yeah water. certainly you must be you must be very tired sir uh, okay. so take 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 it so meanwhile uh, participants please put some questions to be asked from the resource person
so <clears throat> yes sir i had to drink water no i was feeling thirsty and okay uh, okay fine sir so, so even though it is not compulsory many organizations they prepare financial review okay which describes the unique points of the financial performance during the last year and also what are the challenges for example if you see in the reliance infosys also i have seen so they write oh, what what was the challenge uh, during the covid 19 even in the university accounts also maybe we have to write such a report may include a review of the main factors and influences determining financial performance including changes in the environment in which the entity operates the entity's response to those changes their effects and the entity's policy for investment to maintain and enhance financial performance dividend policy etc then entities sources of funding in the financial review entities sources of funding and what is the targeted ratio of liabilities to equity okay now the liabilities to equity that ratio is maintained or not and the entities resources not recognized in the balance sheet in accordance with indes okay if it is not recognized as per indes but you have followed it that also needs to be mentioned in the financial review <clears throat> then in addition many companies also prepare other reports okay these other reports are environmental reports okay even though it is not compulsory now the sebi says that it should be reported but under ind as it is not compulsory so environmental reports and many value added statements particularly in industries in which environmental factors are significant and when employees are regarded as important user group uh, if you see this thing the annual report of uh, infosys company they uh, maybe around 10 12 years back they used to <clears throat> Uh, this thing they used to prepare their accounts under different caps okay you find that time what happened the profit and loss account the balance sheet these were translated under us gap the japanese gap australian gap and also french gap so they used to the infosys company they translated means they uh, restated their accounts under different gaps and they have arrived the profit okay the same account if it is translated under different gaps then the result also will be different so maybe infosys was a good company and they wanted to show that under all the gaps we have earned profit so that was a value added statement given by the infosys company it may be noted that reports and statements presented outside financial statements are outside the scope of indes <clears throat> these other reports are outside the scope of indes means indes is not applicable to these things in addition an entity shall disclose the following one is the domicile okay the domicile a company is not a citizen but it has a domicile okay it can file a case <clears throat> others also it is a legal personality it can file a case and others also can file a case against the company so here the domicile what is the domicile domicile means the head office where the registered office is located the state where the registered office is located is the domicile so that is the domicile that is that state that company belongs to that particular state and description of the nature of the entity's operation and its principal activities so that also needs to be 
disclosed and if a parent company is there if you are a subsidiary company the parent company if it is a limited life entity if the company is for let's suppose 20 years then the information about the length of the life needs to be mentioned needs to be reported now <clears throat> also these six documents plus some optional documents so those are the minimum requirements of minimum uh, requirements for presentation under company law okay and basically what happened uh, those things are applicable to companies okay now what happens uh, we see that what is the objective of this financial reporting okay objective now long time back when we used to prepare the financial statement then the companies they were saying that we have prepared the financial statement for our own purpose it needs should not be disclosed to others for example if i prepare my financial statement then i need not disclose it to others okay that was the idea before 1970 long time back so that was the idea now what happened when there is a complexity of the business and when the business developed earlier the business was only the mostly the sole proprietorship type of business or at best then uh, partnership type of business okay so after sole proprietorship the business developed into the partnership form of business in partnership what happened some people they joined together so when some people joined together there is a need for a robust financial system otherwise what happened there may be doubt one partner may doubt against the integrity of another partner that's why the account should be robust this became worse or this became more complex after the industrial revolution after industrial revolution what happened suddenly there was a growth in the companies company form of com many organ company form of business came and in when in the company form of business there is separation of power the shareholders are spread all over the world and it is managed by the directors managed by the agents agents of the shareholders called directors so there was a need or there is a need for having a robust very strong accounting system then also there was no uniformity and when uniformity at world global level so there was a need for the international accounting standard also uh, now what happened ifrs is there and almost all the standards of most of the countries are aligned to ifrs <clears throat> so when you prepare any financial statement so your objective is to provide reliable information on economic resources obligations of business enterprises to evaluate the strength and weakness ability to meet commitment showing the resource base of growth etc so the general objective of the financial statement is to provide reliable information it should be reliable reliable about the strength financial strength weakness ability to meet commitment etc also to provide financial information useful for estimating the earning potential of the firm okay the objective of the financial statement should be to enable the stakeholders in estimating the earning potential of the firm now when you purchase any share when you buy any share of a company you follow also the same thing whether it has a potential to give profit or not 
it has a potential to earn profit or not. So you estimate. You estimate, you see the financial statements and on the basis of those financial statements, you make a, you take a decision. To provide information about the change in the economic resources and obligations, also to disclose other information relevant to statement you just need. So these are the general objectives of financial statements. Okay, these four are the general objectives. Also, there are the qualitative objectives of financial statements. Okay, now this qualitative objective is relevance. Whether the financial the financial statement should be relevant. Otherwise, what happened? If it is relevant, then it should be reported. If it is not relevant, <clears throat> it should not be reported. If it, it should not be reported in the annual report. Okay, what is relevance? Uh, this relevant relevant item helps in making economic decisions or or making predictions. Any information that has a greater weight in decision making is more relevant. If the information that has a <clears throat> greater weight, that has a weight in making decision, in, in taking decision that helps you uh, more in making a decision, then what happened that is more relevant. Or also you can say that relevant information reduces uncertainty about future acts. Okay, so that is relevant. Then number two qualitative objective or characteristic is reliability. Okay, reliability is that quality which permits users of data to depend upon it with confidence as representative. Okay. So reliability means you depend the data is reliable means it is correct or you have some confidence okay in balance it for example the value of current asset is more representative you must have observed in the balance sheet the value of fixed assets like land uh, land you purchased let's suppose 50 years back at a less price only 5,000 rupees. Now also you write 5,000 rupees. So this is meaningless or the value is not representative. So you cannot rely on it. Okay. Whereas the current asset is current in nature. So that is more representative. So here the reliability means reliability is that quality which permits users of data to depend upon it with confidence as representative, it should be. So the good objective of financial reporting is, or the one of the good characteristics of financial reporting is that it should be reliable, understandable. Information must be intelligible, but also ensures that users understand it. So if you prepare the financial statement, then you have to prepare for the benefit of the general public, not for a specific users, not, oh, it should not be prepared, keeping in mind only for the research scholars or for the intelligent people. You have to prepare the financial statement in an understandable manner. It means the majority of the population can understand it. Also, the financial statement should be verifiable. Verifiability means it can be cross-checked, there can be corroboration. If it can be cross-checked, if it can, there can be corroboration, then what happened? The, that particular financial statement is verifiable. Also, the financial statement should be neutral. Neutral means it should not be biased helping a particular group of persons. Okay, you must not prepare a financial statement which will help only a specific users, only for one group. Let's suppose you prepare a financial statement which is beneficial only to the income tax officer, not to other public. Then what happened? That is not neutral. Okay, 
it should be made applicable to the society at large similarly the consistency also should be there when you follow any accounting policy normally you should not change it it should be consistent consistently you must follow it then materiality materiality also is like relevant or materiality means any information that is material in taking a decision that should be reported for example any information that has a significant influence in changing your decision is material in case of insurance companies what happened if you say that somebody is suffering from a disease then what happened the insurance company suddenly will increase the premium or insurance company will not accept your policy then this information that somebody is suffering from some disease so that is a material information so that is this material information materiality also is an important aspect of this thing uh, financial statement similarly timeliness it has to be prepared on time taza taza type means it should be uh, prepared uh, on time okay it should not be prepared for example 10 years back financial statement if you prepare now that is uh, not of great value also comparability the financial statement is good if it is comparable if it can be compared with other companies uh, or not only in india with other countries also also the financial statement should be complete okay you must not prepare in piece mill you in one place balance sheet in different annual report uh, profit statement of profit and loss different annual report cash flow so uh, that way it is not good it should be made complete okay so uh, what i personally feel with this thing i would like to stop this thing sir hello sir Uh, yes sir yes sir okay okay sir uh, in this connection also since uh, this thing uh, what i understand these qualitative objectives are also called the qualitative characteristics in if you study the conceptual framework framework of accounting um, then fasb many uh, financial accounting standard board they have many qualitative characteristics no uh, qualitative characteristics of financial reporting Uh, so uh, some of you can do a research on this thing you can take the financial statements of some companies 10 companies 20 companies then you check whether the financial statement is relevant or not relevant if it is relevant you make one to 10 scales what is its relevance whether it is reliable or not reliable whether, whether it is understandable or not understandable whether it is verifiable not very no neutrality consistency materiality timeliness whether it is complete or not complete so that one can write a very good research paper also so with this thing if you have any question you can ask me uh, sir uh, so far participants have not asked any question in the chat box uh, so uh, my colleague uh, dr guram ramas krishna and uh, dr fanai both are here on the okay. on the panel okay, so sir. if they are having any question they may interact okay, dr guram and dr fanai uh, i just wanted to ask you about the research uh, perspective only sir uh, just uh, repeat the research perspective only. oh yes 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 sir it's a very good you can write a small paper art, article on this thing Uh, you can as a, you can make also a pilot study please go for this thing this quality first you check you no know, what are the qualitative characteristics of financial statement okay one by one for example i said relevance whether the financial statement is relevant or not relevant you ask the stakeholders okay you take 400 500 stakeholders make a questionnaire then you ask them so they will give answer then make some statistical analysis and immediately you can prepare a very good paper you can take also industry wise also 
uh, the characteristics of one particular manufacturing sector or service sector or tourism sector hospital industry okay so that way one can write thank you sir thank you very much okay sir okay so i am uh, uh, I yes, question, but there is a question in question box so i think sir bertan do can 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 do that can read uh, you may also take up hamani uh, yes. you can take sir, also can i, do. <laughs> I, I not... <clears throat> okay so there is uh, there is two questions in the question and answer box and number one is which any software easily accountable financial statement Pardon, which, which? Yeah. which any software easily accountable for financial statement countable financial statement and number two is what is fictitious asset and revolution account that is the two question okay okay <clears throat> fictitious asset means uh, which is not a not an asset for example mm -hmm. uh, goodwill is a fictitious asset you can see this thing uh, if you see the top companies very best good company strong companies so goodwill is not mentioned okay in the balance sheet you will not find goodwill okay if you find if you see some small companies then also the goodwill is there so whether the presence of goodwill in the balance sheet is correct or not correct okay so this also is a fallacy of accounting okay so this goodwill is a fictitious asset imagine okay so mm -hmm. that is and reevaluation also uh, as per this thing uh, nowadays what happens when you learn more and more on accounts then you find that there are many mistakes okay there are many techniques for window dressing of the balance sheet window dressing of the profit and loss okay through reevaluation also you can change the balance sheet now as i told you you can say you have uh, some uh, one machinery you have uh, uh, you have machinery okay you purchased by paying 10 lakh rupees now you go for revaluation you say that because of its usefulness it is more it is more value okay the value has been increased to double then your profit also can be increased of course immediately it will not be increased it it you have to report it in other comprehensive income statement uh, the indian accounting standard will object straight away you cannot write it in profit and loss account but in other comprehensive income one can write it but here what happened the financial statement normally the people do not understand okay 90 90% of the people will not understand so that way when uh, the total profit is more they will see the total then it may be misleading also okay ma'am okay so you are also teaching there in mizoram university yes yes sir she is a younger colleague in our department our department oh, nice to meet you ma'am okay thank you so much for your answer sir your class is very thank informative you, and quite interesting So thank you sir thank you very much coordinator yeah may take up yeah pubartendu ah thank you oh, thank you manai so sir uh, dr lalnit langi fanai and dr gurram rama krishna these two are taking accounting papers in the department oh, okay, so, okay. so 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 uh, that's why i told them to interact okay. with you on the issue uh, so thank you sir for arranging time although you were very busy and traveling uh, no no sir i was <laughs> traveling to now uh, for renewal we have many affiliated colleges and those colleges uh, the whether the renewal should be given or renewal should not be given uh -huh. so that was a question and then i went there as chairman But okay <clears throat> i that is uh, yes yeah, i'm traveling i was, uh, I was <laughs> slightly i i uh, that was a thing in my mind rather traveling in other places and traveling in a hilly region is different very so difficult. traveling in uh, sikkim is very difficult uh, once i visited you so i know that it's uh, so much of course so must be very problems. tired i can see 
Mm, yes, sir. Traffic jam also is a very big problem in oh, Sikkim. Yes. I take this opportunity to welcome all the participants also to Sikkim. So if you have this thing, whenever we organize any conference, then they can also join. Okay, sir, you sure. also can come, sir. Yes, sure. so, sir and uh, your colleagues also, they can join. Yes. Okay, sir, we are now planning to have a conference. So mm -hmm. you can also, some of you can come to our un university. So that there can be more interaction with other teachers. Okay, sir. Sure, sir. So thank you, sir, for uh, sparing your time and joining us for this very interesting topic. To make no, it very simple, actually, the accounting is very, I want to say, very, very tough and uh, complicated and little dry subject, but you made it very interesting by your presentation. Make it very, very simple to us. So thank you, sir, for... Uh, okay, sir. Thank you. And thank you, all the participants also. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. So, so you may now stop sharing and... Uh, stop oh, sharing, yes. sir. Stop the video, no, sir? Yeah, yes, yes. Now... No, stop sharing, sir. On top. On the top, yes. On the yes. top, stop sharing. Yes. Then, sir, yes, then sir. leave, leave. Where is that? Uh, it may be right, ah, right, right side right. below, sir. Yes, sir. So, dear participants, this was our day. Uh, for today, uh, four interesting topics we covered today. Uh, tomorrow will be a new day. Four new uh, resource persons will be there. I will just tell you the names. Uh, you must be having the schedule. Uh, tomorrow we'll start with Professor H.K. Singh. He is ex-Vice Chancellor of uh, Maharshi University of Information Technology, Sitapur. Uh, then second session will be from Professor Vandal Shona. He is a finance officer in Mizoram University and actually he is professor in economics. Uh, then third session will be Professor Aditya Tripathi from BHU. And fourth session will be Professor V.K. Shodriya. He is uh, right now he is working in Delhi University, but earlier he worked in uh, Northeastern Hill University, Shillong. And before that, he worked in uh, Bhutan, Royal University of Bhutan. So these four sessions will be there tomorrow. So till then, we take a break and uh, see you all tomorrow at 10 a.m. So have a nice day. Thanks for joining today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.